This time of year, it's harder to find the woman who's been the most Googled person in SA and FHM's sexiest woman in the world. So what does she get up to in the winter? When you hear that you're spending the day with a supermodel, the first things that spring to mind are beaches and bikinis. However, if that model is Tracy McGregor, you better be prepared for something a little different. This is a little unusual. Yeah, well, you know, it's a Monday morning. It's my, my usual thing to do. I get up early and go for a nice boat ride and <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> um, I haven't done it before, but I'm quite into the adventure side of things. So I thought it'd be quite a, a nice way to start off the day. Certainly a different way to start off the day. So I hope you got your sea legs with you. Well, let's find out, shall we? <laughs> let's find out, God. Whilst Tracy is a partner in a loyalty card business and has shares in a software firm, she's still top of the game that made her famous. Your business obviously slows down quite a bit in winter. What do you get up to when it does? You know what, I do love chasing the sun. I'm definitely a summer baby, born in February, so literally right smack bang in the middle of it. And um, yeah, so when it's, it's cold here, back in Cape Town, I do like to head on over to Europe get my tan on and uh, we actually just came back from Saint-Tropez two weeks ago. Incredible, really one of the most spectacular holidays I've ever been on. But you know, it's always nice to come home. But you're no stranger to the sea, right? Yes, my dad actually has a fishing boat which he takes out every now and then out in Aizefontein. So we spend a bit of time on the sea and my grandfather used to, also used to have boats back in his day. So uh, I've got some strong sea legs. The idea had been to get some fishing in. Given the weather, that remained an idea, and they figured they'd see what the professionals had brought in. That was great, thank you. Perfect way to start the day. You know, it's amazing. So I know we didn't catch our own fish, but we are in Hot Bay Harbour, and they have the freshest fish in the world. So let's get one and make some lunch. I hope you know what to do with that fish, because I have no idea. Don't worry, I do. And I know just where to do it. Come on. Instead of making for the restaurant, they headed for Hout Bay's renowned seafood market, which supplies eateries across the peninsula. Asking for fish off Sassy's green list as it is farmed is always recommended. There we go, thank you very much. Ooh, uh, no, 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 let me get it. No, 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 no. it's fine. No, 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 come no. On, You'd also be offering to pay if like all new Standard Bank Gold, Titanium and Platinum credit card customers, you got 0% interest on purchases for the first three months. Next was to ask Hout Bay Manor's chef, Philip Arno Bortis, to cook their catch. All right, guys, so we've got a beautiful farm crop. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to clean the fish. We're going to cut some nice fillets out of it, and then you can help me preparing a nice marinade for it. Slicing the fillets allows the marinade to infuse the fish. Oh, we like to raise your lemons, right? You are good. <laughs> I'll take one of those. Careful now. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> so you look very comfortable with that knife. How much time do you spend in the kitchen preparing food? Well, to be honest with you, I prefer eating the food rather than preparing the food, but um, I suppose the one naturally precedes the other. So it, it has does. to be done, right? Mm -hmm. Right, guys, so now you've done a great job cutting everything up. We're just going to throw all that ingredients in the extra virgin olive oil, put our nice cob fillets in there, and just get everything uh, marinating in there for a few minutes. After 10 years cooking overseas, Chef Philip has returned to deliver a combination of rustic Mediterranean food with SA cuisine and a twist on traditional favorites. We're gonna do a nice classic lemon meringue, but we're gonna add our twist to it by doing it in a jar. Okay, Trace, well, uh, let's get down and see you can make the prettiest meringue thing. Best looking one wins. Okay. And I'm talking about the dessert. Well, Tracy, let's be honest, it's not like you can really eat this thing after we've made it because of the shape you've got to be in and the business you're in. Well, I eat quite a balanced diet, although I don't really like calling it a diet because it's not. It's, you know, more of a healthy eating plan. I tend to be pretty good with getting myself to the gym, you know, at least five days a week. I do my switch classes, they're high intensity, so I tend to burn off majority of what I eat. Ta-da! Okay, Philip, you get to decide which one's the prettiest. I have to be honest, it's definitely Tracy. Tracy's meringue. Mer meringue, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I must agree with that on both counts. Tracy's work looks as fresh as it did when she first began modeling as a teenager, except she's now diversified. You've recently ventured into the world of business. I have. You know, I thought it made sense being in the fashion industry for so long with modeling to learn the business side of things. So I started a company called African Lab where we do product development. So we still get to be creative and you know, let our, our girly minds flow. Uh, but then also you know, learning how to sell it and where to sell it and, and how to make the money. And you now we're going into the online space where 
We're taking a lot of local brands and putting them on the, the online retail space where hopefully the rest of Africa and the rest of the world can buy them and enjoy them. An added sweetener is that by paying with your standard bank credit card, you collect more U-Count rewards points than by using your check or debit card. Loads of youngsters would love to follow in your footsteps. What advice would you have for them? I'd say, you know, just stay humble, be gracious, be kind to people. And remember that this industry is a lot of rejection in it, you know, and it's not that they're not liking you as a person, they're just looking for something else specific for their brand. So don't take it to heart, you know, have a strong mind about you and know that it actually is your business. So at the end of the day, you've got to treat it that way. Respect yourself and respect others and then you're going to be a winner. And of course, always stop to taste the dessert. Well, of course. Ah, oh, there we go. Enjoy. Tracy continues to make a success of her life and her advice is worth taking to heart.